So as you guys know, I recently went to Jeju and this is my third and final day there. I wanted to come on and say this was my all-time favorite day I've ever had in Jeju for a number of reasons, but basically I just feel like the southeast side is very forgotten about. So if you're visiting Jeju this summer, definitely check out southeast side of the island. That's where all this footage was taken. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my third and final vlog here in Jeju. I've been here for the past few days. If you didn't know, I actually have a whole Jeju playlist on my channel. If you want to see more content from here, feel free to watch that playlist. I will have it linked below. But this morning is just off to a beautiful, amazing start. I feel like I'm at a resort right now because there's literally a pool like it's like an infinity style pool with an ocean view. I don't know if people go in here or not. A lot of cafes here just have pools for show, but there's like a ton of sunbeds that you can lay on to go tanning and we got some smoothies. So I'm gonna show you guys more around this place, but thank you so much for being here and checking out this vlog. I will have all of the locations in this video in the description below. And if you enjoyed this vlog, make sure to leave a comment and give me a thumbs up, it'll help a lot. But anyways, I'm going to try this smoothie I just got and I'll show you guys more around this place. All right, so next on our schedule was a henyo diving experience, but the winds this day were too strong, so we opted not to. I actually did this last summer, and I have such fond memories of that day. If you ever visit Jeju, you can rent free diving gear that Jeju Henyo use, and you can take a lesson on how to do it yourself. It's so much fun, and you can enjoy your catch with some ramen after. All right guys, so we just pulled up to this place called Wind 147. I came here only one time and it was for shooting with a production company in Jeju. And when I came here, we mainly just stuck to like the fields, which in the fall, you can actually come here and you can do mandarin picking. It's not mandarin season right now. So the main reason a lot of people come here is because they actually have a go-karting track and there's also laser tag here. So I think we're gonna stick mainly to go-karting today just because of time, but I'm so excited because for some reason there are a lot of go-karting karting places in Jeju I think just because it's a tourist attraction and a lot of kids come here so this is our first time go-karting I have not done go-karting in literally like 15 years it's nothing like a high speed or anything like that it's very chill but I'm very excited um, and like the views here are just so beautiful so let's get out and go get set up with our go-karts so fast. <laughs> ready Hot pass. 
came to this place called Boromwa. It is huge. Like it takes quite a long time to walk through the greenhouses. And then there's also a cafe at the end of the greenhouse. So we just got some coffees and they also had a ton of desserts. So we're gonna try these two in just a second. And besides the indoor greenhouse, they also have a huge outdoor field with tons of different flowers depending on the season. But I feel like it's not super known among the foreigner community, which is why I really wanted to include this place in my vlog. So I'm just gonna sit back, enjoy. This looks so special, it's got foam on top. Mmm. Can I try the latte? Mmm. So creamy. I'm so excited about this bread. Alright guys, so I am back at the airport. It's time to go back to Busan. This has been such a fun trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which one was your favorite. And I'm going to have all of the info in the description below. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys!